John McGann, Aston Villa Football Club. Every one of them's a tough opponent. No, um, everyone's very technically astute, uh, comfortable on the ball, athletic, fit. Um, everyone's neat and tidy. I'm probably the least neat and tidy, but everyone can handle the ball. Um, but everyone's tactically aware. Everyone knows their job. They're, they're protecting that back four with their life and willing to get into attacking positions, but picking the right moments. And that's probably what separates them from um, from players at a lower level. Uh, I think in the championship I was uh, a bit like a bulldog, I was pressing here, there and everywhere um, but when you step up a level you learn to pick and choose the right times because uh, if you if you press well and early uh, you lose your shape, lose your discipline and at that level you just get punished and, and picked off so uh, I've learned to um, to press off certain triggers from the, the manager um, and pick and choose to use my energy at a certain times because if you, you waste it um, later on in the game these players punish you and, and that's happened a few times this season. Even though all these players are all uh, playing at a high level, they're, like I said, they're, they're neat and tidy on the ball. I think um, off the ball they, they lose track of you when you run behind them. Uh, a lot of my game's based now on getting the other side of midfielders and breaking the lines in between the, uh, and behind the defence. So I'm encouraged a lot uh, to stretch the, their defence and my, my game's kind of based on um, the players being sloppy and, uh, and not tracking me and I, I, so far this season it seemed to have, to have worked and uh, it's a part of my game I'm still working on uh, choosing the right times to do it but it's something that I've noticed in the league that works. I think especially when, uh, when a team's pressing you high up the pitch um, the space is in behind and it's not always on for the striker to do it so basically when I'm the, the third man runner it creates a space for the ball and the striker uh, if someone goes with me but if, if someone doesn't go with me then we're, we're in behind the back line so um, it's something I've been learning gradually the manager's been great with me at it um, to pick and choose the right times especially when the full back's got on the ball um, at our club it's obviously different everywhere else the manager goes short and I peel into the the channel uh, it just creates that that space for the, the striker or the or the winger to come in and play. So I'm probably sacrificing myself for the team in those runs, but at the same time I get I get chances from it, and, and the team does. Uh, well, I think at, at St Mirren I was very raw, um, showed in spells what I was capable of, um, but then probably tried too hard to step up the levels too quickly, too keen to impress, too keen to win a game on my own uh, and then when I moved to Hibs I learned more that it was a team game. I wouldn't say I was selfish but I learned more of my, my role in the team, my structure and then um, evolved into a completely different player at Aston Villa where playing alongside better players you realise that you, to do less you're doing more um, and my place in the team, my role is something as long as you excel in that part then you keep progressing and keep getting better and it's something I've learned and, and positionally uh, I'm a lot better positionally when I left Hibs probably still a bit raw um, whereas when you're, you're down at that level you need to you need to improve so much tactically and it's something I feel I'm still improving on but got a lot better at. It will for, for example um, I would probably try and, at St Mirren, I would run with the ball a lot more than, I was playing white sort of wide midfield so I would run with it a lot more rather than using the full back or using the striker to bounce the ball off with. Uh, and then at Hibs, definitely playing a different role now, at Hibs I used to get the ball and our game was based on switching the play, getting the ball and running with it, whereas now I'm playing sort of behind the midfield, giving them problems behind them, um, which is a new role for me but something I've enjoyed. Uh, getting the ball in a half turn and running the defence and something that's brought my game on. Um, definitely getting in behind the defence is something I couldn't have pictured at St Mirren or Hibs but from learning off the coaches I've, I've managed to use that to, to bring my game on. Be as fit as you possibly can. When I was at St Mirren I was probably 
I probably my game suffered, especially towards the end of games. I was getting tired and uh, cramping up. Whereas at Hibs, I took my fitness to a new level, and that's that, just doing a lot of extra work, uh, especially on a Tuesday. Um, the sports science at Hibs is, is top notch, so I was doing a lot of runs on a Monday and a Tuesday, and I think g gained a lot of power from the the strength work we done at Hibs, um, which helped me move on and made the transition to English football a lot easier because it's a, a physical league in the Championship uh, and I was able to cope right away and from then uh, just made minor tweaks to it to, to help me be fitter and, and stronger.